Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Yeah. Steady job and some food to eat. Let's take a little trip down south. On the line from Texas, I have YC. What up, YC? Hey, hey, what it was, cuz, man. We just holding it down there in the big town. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that uh, that gangster song is pretty dope, homie. Hey yeah. man, that, that came from that came from some real G's, man. That's I'm talking about right. <laughs> some real live G's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that second. I mean, yeah, yeah, that second motherfucker came off. Everybody came off, but that second dude specifically, I was digging him. But yeah, man, yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Good, good to have you on the line, man. Appreciate you joining the program. Already, man, ain't nothing to it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm always willing to, you know what I'm saying, step in and give a little history, a little knowledge, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's uh, let everyone know uh, what set you're from. Man, I'm repping that Trey Five Seven Gray. You're a gangster crib, man. You know what I'm saying? Seven stand. You know what I'm saying? Tall. And we're talking Dallas, right? Yeah, nah, we Ferris, Texas, you know what I'm saying? Connected Apologize. with Dallas, Texas, you Apologize. know what I'm saying? Okay, Ferris, Texas. Let's get it right. Ferris, Texas. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, Ferris, Texas. We well connected, well respected, though. Dallas, Texas, stand up, 6 5 Grove side. Them my niggas, man. 187, UNC, Tar Heels, you know what I'm saying? 6'5 5 Grove side, you know what I'm saying? Trey 87, Clue Devils. Them my boys, you know what I'm saying? We already know what it is. Well, let's, uh, let's take it all the way back before... You know, um, you stepped foot in the streets before the music came along and everything. What uh, was your upbringing like coming up in Ferris, Texas? Uh, was mom around, dad around? I mean, man, you know, really, I, I was raised, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say my mom and daddy wasn't around, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my mom was always around. But, you know, I stayed with my granny, man, you know what I'm saying? But it was just my choice, you know what I'm saying? It's because. You know, mama moved away from the hood. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't leave the hood. So I had to get back down there with granny. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I was raised good, man. You know, I came up in the church, you know what I'm saying? Everything singing in the church. You know what I'm saying? I know the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That's my first word. You know what I'm saying? I, I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? And before you uh, even heard about Crips or Bloods, who were some of the gangs that were present in that general area, to the best of your knowledge? Uh, man, it was, it was, a uh, uh, Trey Five Seven Dixon, you know what I'm saying? You know, my, my pops was actually, you know what I'm saying, Trey Five Seven Dixon, you know what I'm saying? So, I, 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 I was, I was raised in it, I was born in it, you know what I'm saying, really. People say they was born and raised in it, but I was actually born and raised in it. My, my pops was actually, you know, OG in, in South Dallas, Trey Five Seven Dixon. So, I've been knowing about it. That's, that's the only thing I ever knew. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. And is that the same, um, Trey Five Seven? Forgive me if I'm wrong, but is is it uh, the same one from out here in, in Los Angeles? Yeah, well, basically, you know, you know, that's where the seven Trey Five Seven came from. We originated from from the land, you know what I'm saying? Pomona Block. Shouts out to them boys, you know what I'm saying, for putting that seven down for us. But uh, yeah, you know, Trey Five Seven, you know what I'm saying, originated, you know, in California, you know what I'm saying, on Pomona Block, and it came from there to Dallas, Texas. You know, it came up with uh Trey Five Seven Dixon. And when that came along, you know what I'm saying, it was a it was a young cat that they wasn't accepting, you know what I'm saying, in, in they set because he was, he was a little younger than everybody, so they used to push him out the way. So what he did was he went around the corner of South Dallas, you know what I'm saying, on, on Lincoln, by Lincoln Park. Everybody know, you know what I'm saying, the grave site. Went up in the grave site, him and about three or four homies put it down, and, you know what I'm saying, they came up with, with the brand Trey 57 Graveyard. You know, and we was at we was at beef with them with them boys for a long time. It was Crips on Crips for a long time about that. You know what I'm saying? But shouts out to OG SOG Baby Cash. You know what I'm saying for putting that Trey Five Seven Gray Yard down. You know, without him, it wouldn't be no Gray Yard. So they, you know, they they wasn't accepting Cuz. So Cuz went and started his own set. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. where it just came a worldwide thing. You know, so okay. And who are who are some of the first? Uh, you know, aside from Trey Five Seven, who are some of the f- uh, other gangs that started sprouting out um, that we would recognize? Uh, 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 six O, Six O, yeah, uh, Six O, Rolling Sixties, man. Shouts out to them boy, North Dallas, Well Chapel. You know what I'm saying? They they straight from the straight from the land, you know. And then uh, we got a uh, the Five Nine the Hoovers. You know what I'm saying? Straight from the land. Shouts out to them boys. 
You know, it was, it, that's pretty much it. back then. That's why I knew that came straight from the land out there. But you know, that's where it originated at. You know, in the land. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to the boy. We 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 got much love for the land, man. <laughs> so your father was around that like pretty much at the beginning. It sounds like of uh of gang banging out in that way, right? Yeah, yeah, man. That was back in the, really in the early 80s, you know what I'm saying, when they was putting it down with uh, Trey Five Seven Dixon. You know, that was the hardest gang guy out here, you know what I'm saying, for a while. Mm. You know, it, that, it, it's, everybody started wanting to, you know, wear blue, you know what I'm saying, but that was that was one of the, hard, the hardest gang guy out here for a while. How influential were movies like Colors, Menace to Society, stuff like that um how influential were those movies you know to not necessarily you know your set but you know other gangs that started to pop up around that time i mean i mean i'm not gonna say it wasn't it wasn't already in motion you know what i'm saying they was already doing it it, it just influenced like it, right? them yeah. to, to, to get harder to do it harder and do it more you know what i'm saying and hard try to be harder than the next you know what i'm saying when it didn't take all that but you know that's, that was a big influence on everything. Everything seemed like, you know, it was going on, but once once our leg came out, it's like it advanced, you know what I'm saying? It started getting more, it started getting worse, you know what I'm saying? So but yeah, that was that was a big influence on a lot of things I heard, man. Talk to me to the best of your knowledge, because you know in in LA, you know, it was most active and it was really cracking, you know, crazy. Uh in like ninety two, ninety three, ninety four. It was like twenty four hundred you know, homicides in, in Los Angeles and even for civilians such as myself who never gangbanged or anything. It was just, it was, it was a war zone out there. Um, to the best of your knowledge, when was Dallas, or not Dallas, your your area, I'm sorry, I mean, when, was, when was your general area like the most active? Man, I'm going to say probably like in uh, like the early 90s, man, you know what I'm saying? Probably like 92, yeah, 93, yeah. Same, about, about the same time, right? Yeah, definitely. definitely. About, about the 90s, yeah. It's safe to say that because a lot of it had to do out here with, with the uh, the uprising of crack. Is it pretty much safe to say that that's how it was out there too around that time? Yeah, definitely. Definitely because that, that's what brought everybody together. You know what I'm saying? Everybody spending on one side trying to get some money. You know what I'm saying? And eventually you, you create that bond as a family. And you know what I'm saying? And you build something off of that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was a that was a big part of it. Yeah, it it hurt it hurt a lot, but it actually drew a lot of us together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. What's the uh, the Latino gang presence like? Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat What's the uh, the Latino gang presence like in, that, in your general area? Uh, I heard, man, they, they uh, thongo, man. They blast it, man. <laughs> That's how you go see out here, man. They blast it. <laughs> what do you mean? Tongo Blast. Oh, Tongo. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They blasting out here. Pretty much all these boys out here blasting. Okay. Is numbers-wise, what, like, is it a Crip city? Is, is it a Blood city? What would you say? I mean, as far as, far as my city, as far as my city, Ferris, yeah. Texas, it's, it's nothing but Crips out here. You know, we we was a small neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? We, we got it. We had a lot of we had a lot of going on down here, you know, so it was like, we like 15 minutes from Dallas. So when we wanted, you know what I'm saying? When it was so time the, to party and, and, and crank up and wreak havoc, you know what I'm saying? We took it away from home. We didn't never want to bring that in, into the city where our, our community is, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And, and bring nothing to our community. So we always went away from the house to, to party and to, to wreak havoc when we was younger, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. See, I live, technically I live, you know, 20 minutes outside of Los Angeles, but everybody, we, we claim Los Angeles, you know what I'm saying? It's right, we're right, from LA, definitely, you know definitely. what I'm saying? We're, it's, it's LA County, yeah. we're in LA. So it's, so it's not um, insulting, it's not a, to, to say that, you know, it, if, I, if, if someone screws up and says, oh, Dal it's that, the Dallas area, it's not like a, like a diss, right? Right, no, no, no. Okay, good, good, nah, cool. we're just, 
when when they tell us that, we just be like, I mean, we fifteen minutes from Dallas. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, cool. They be like, Yeah, we in Dallas, right? You be like, Yeah, 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 yeah we in Dallas. Cool. 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 <laughs> Well, let's yeah, uh, let's take it back, man. When did you first jump off the porch? I mean, man, I think I was like, man, I was like 15, man, when I jumped off the porch, man. And they, you know, I just, it wasn't even, it was just, I, you know, it, it had, when it just hit my hood like that, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was underground. You know what I'm saying? It was one of these underground. Mm. And, you know, so after underground, I seen everybody was being underground, you know what I'm saying, with that much respect. And I love it, but I always knew Trey Five Seven, you know what I'm saying? I think the underground got put down like in, what, 92? Uh, December 1st, 1992, you know what I'm saying? That's when they put that down. So my hood basically was UNC underground, you know? So once again, like uh, one, one of my big homies, SOG Stinky C, you know what I'm saying? CIP he passed away. But uh he was he was he he got locked up basically, you know what I'm saying, and and got put down in there, ran into S O G Cash. He got put down in there and he brought it from there to Ferris, Texas. You know what I'm saying? And I seen he, he stood out to me, you know what I'm saying? He was he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't rowdy, he didn't he didn't cause a lot of havoc, he he wasn't loud, he just you know what I'm saying, he moved in silence. So that's what I liked about it. And then I found out he was Trey Five Seven Gray Yard. He wasn't, you know what I'm saying, UNC. So when I ran into him, you know, he basically embraced me and like he, he told me a lot of good things. You know, he tried to lead me in the right direction. Like he always told me, you know what I'm saying, go to school, you know what I'm saying, don't get no gang tattoos, you know, he always you know what I'm saying, if you're gonna be in this, you know what I'm saying, represent and make it make it out of something good. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do this, don't do that, don't be robbing, don't be stealing, don't be killing. So when I got down, you know, we was young, but so we was gonna do what we gonna do anyway. You know what I'm saying? So by fourteen, that's when I, I really jumped off the porch, man. Fourteen, fifteen, I just really jumped off the porch. You know. Okay. But he always he always wanted us to do good, you know what I'm saying? He never wanted us to do no no robbing, no killing, no stealing. It ain't about beating up another man that got on red. You know what I'm saying? It was all about, you know what I'm saying, brotherhood and trying to but you know, us as young as we weren't trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? We was going to Dallas every weekend. We was it was fun to us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was having fun, you know what I'm saying, until you know what I'm saying, other things started to happen, you know what I'm saying, and you know, it it got real. So it, it really got it, it really got real for me, man. It probably about like sixteen, man. It was it was one night. I mean, it was it was really hell, you know. They had a little, little uh, a little party in in South Dallas, right in the middle of the front park, you know. And uh, it was like a group of us, and it was a group of, of bloods, basically. And it was, and they was in the parking lot next to us. We had a Walgreens parking lot, which is you know Walgreens parking lot, not not too big, you know. And uh, they was in the parking lot of, of uh, Minyards, and that's the grocery store. So we walking through, you know, one day, one uh, at, at the party, or whatever, after the party or whatever. So and they start screaming like, you know, woo woo this, woo woo that, you know. So we walk back and tell the homies, you know, we we next thing we know, we walking back over there. The other homies, they got them surrounded, you know what I'm saying? So boom. I see the homies start running, you know what I'm saying? Next thing I know, I just heard a female scream out and say, here come them Crips, you know what I'm saying? So, man, it just, it got real then, man. That's when it really got real for me. Yeah. <laughs> I knew what it was then. Yeah. See <laughs> I see, we see it, man. I seen a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? I seen a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we ain't going to speak on it, but I seen a lot. Yeah, you know? yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, a lot of homies, a lot of homies in the past, a lot of homies that's, that's locked up, ain't going to never see the, the sunlight again, man. And I, I pray to God and I thank God that I followed the right path. And, you know what I'm saying? Then, then go that direction. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Same here, homie. Um, what what age range were you most active, would you say? Man, i say probably about 18, man. 18, that's when it, it really just, you know, just hit the fan. Mm. Did yeah, you, by 18 when it did when you ever do, uh, <laughs> Did you ever do juvie, you know, any jail time or? Uh, yeah, man, I actually, I went to uh, TDC, man. You know what I'm saying? I was in TDC for about, you know what I'm saying, two or three years, you know what I'm saying? I came out, I, did, I had a seven piece, came out on that, on that thing, did two or three years, came home. 
But yeah, and that was the first time I seen that, you know what I'm saying? And that there opened my eyes and made me seen a lot, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot, man. It's like, you know what I'm saying? I learned that I don't need a group of people to step, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I can step on my own. You know? That's deep. Cause everybody to say they your homie I ain't your homie. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Well shit, let's take it back to that day, yeah, man. Right. When you um when you when you got locked up what, what that what's that first day like you know being an active gang member entering tdc man to tell you the truth man I, it's i'm gonna be honest with you and i'm, I'm gonna say something that a lot of people a lot of a lot of homies scared to say you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna lie i was scared and i wasn't scared because i was finna have to fight or i was finna have to do something i was scared because i didn't know what to expect you know what i'm saying when somebody don't know what to expect you know what i'm saying of course you're gonna be scared you know what I'm saying? So I didn't know how I was supposed to step in here. You know, first time, first day I get in the county, I have a fight. You know what I'm saying? Just because I look like my brother. You know, and my brother, you know, my brother, he he was uh, he uh, 187 UNC. You know what I'm saying? I got two brothers. They both, you know what I'm saying, underground. You know what I'm saying? But my oldest brother, he was, he been doing time since he was like, you know what I'm saying, 16, 15. He been in and out, you know what I'm saying, doing this thing. But, he he didn't he done it so much, you know what I'm saying. I didn't realize that it affected me, you know what I'm saying, because we look so much alike, all, all three of us, you know what I'm saying. So when I when I first hit the hit the tank, you know, the guy seeing me, you know what I'm saying, he was like, he was like, man, you you you, you look crip. I'm like, nah, homie. I'm like, nah, homie. He's like, no, you look just like the nigga, man. What's up? What's up? So so so. I'm like, nah, homie. That ain't me. That's my brother. But you know what I'm saying. If you want to get it, we can get it. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, it jumped out. Soon as I get in there, that's the first. In the county, I got to fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it ain't, it ain't nothing nice, man. I'm telling you, it ain't nothing nice. And that, that opened my eyes to a lot, man. Like, man, say that ain't what I want. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've heard a lot of people. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. What were you going to say? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I started having, I started having kids, and I let there, you know, I went trying to. You know what I'm saying? Go down there, bro. Because when you go down there, bro, man, even in there, man, everybody just say that your homie ain't your homie, man. Mm. It's some, it's some, it's some, man, say, say, man. <laughs> it was just say, man, y'all uh, stand on your own, man. It's all I can say. <coughs> Whatever you do, <coughs> you don't need, you don't need a group of niggas to do it. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Smoking that good, too? Stand on your own. Oh yeah, you already yeah, know, man. Same here, homie. <laughs> OG Fine. Yes, sir. I got, <laughs> some, OG Fine. I got some holy grail Kush over here. Good conversation, yeah. man. Let's keep yeah. it going, dog. Just give me a little bit of that good good Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me King Von. I'm sure you're familiar with the situation. King Von, yeah, the uh, yeah. Chicago rapper. I'll explain to my my uh, listeners out there who aren't familiar. You know, he's a popular Chicago rapper. He was supposed to be next up. He had everything. You know, what I'm saying the flow, the look, everything. In my opinion, you know, he was next up. He's down in Atlanta at a hookah bar. Uh, middle of the night, late at night, uh, he sees his enemy, Quando Rondo, jumps out of the car. They start fighting, you know, and within just a few seconds of them fighting, uh, little Timmy, who was part of Quando Rondo's crew, comes up and lets off into um, King Von. R.I.P. King Von, he's a dead man, and little Timmy is locked up. Uh, I would love your opinion on this, you know, if you maybe take yourself back, you know, to, to the street life, but <clears throat> in your opinion... Did Lil Timmy do what Lil Timmy was supposed to do in that situation? I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, he did. I mean, it basically wasn't his fault. I mean, I mean it's his fault, but it ain't his fault. It's how he was taught. You know what I'm saying? If he was taught the right way, he would have know how to, you know what I'm saying, think. Basically, he didn't He didn't think before he reacted. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of homies out there that, that, that's teaching the homies the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Not not letting them know there's consequences that's gonna come with that and the consequences come with that, you ain't you better be sure you're ready for that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I think he was he was definitely in my opinion, definitely he was wrong, but I mean he did he did he did what he was supposed to do. You know, yeah, but I I kinda feel like he kinda handled he could handle it a little better than that, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like well, what, what would you would have done? In that situation? Though, you know what, I'm saying? what would you have I done? I mean two two 
two black men. I mean, me now, now me as an older man, as old as I am, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't take it to that level. I probably wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying? Take it to that level. We got to, we got to stop that. That's why I said, you got to take it back to the, your, like, you know, back in the day. Yeah. But if, but if it was back in the days, then me, the type of, the type of person I was, like I said, I was, when I, when I was taught by my SOG, I was one of the ones that really listened. So I'm the one that, that like that that just gonna calm the situation down and, and make you sit down and think about what you're gonna do before you do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stop you. If I see you finna do something that's gonna take somebody else's life and take your life, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm the one to stop you. You know what I'm saying? That's what the homies always tell me all the time. I like that. <laughs> they get mad at me for that, you know what I'm saying? But they yeah, that's saved so many lives just by doing that, dog. Real talk. Man, say you just don't know. And the ones that I wasn't there and I couldn't make it there on time, man, I was like, I was so hurt and I still feel to this day like I owe them something, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I could have I could have prevented it, you know what I'm saying? Because that was me. I was the level head of the <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why that's why I connected with my SOG so, so tight, SOG Stinky C. That's what made me get down because that's the type of person he was, you know what I'm saying? A level headed killer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> man. I like that title. <laughs> For real, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? So Let's, definitely, man. I definitely yeah. feel like he was he was yeah, he he could have handled that better, man. Especially two two brothers coming up in the rap game like that, man. That was that was tragic, man. Cause he was next up, man. He was good, man. And I heard he I heard a lot of good things about him. I heard a couple of tracks, you know what I'm saying? He was he yeah. was he was nice. Yeah. Yeah, he was nice, man. He can actually rap, which is, you know, not, you know. Yeah, man, definitely, man. Nowadays, definitely, yeah. man. He yeah. wasn't just putting words together. He was, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He a story. Real talk. I like that. Yeah. Well, shit, man. One of the bigger stories in the past couple of years. Let's take it to the circus. I should, I should cue some clown music for this one, but one of the bigger rappers in the past couple of years, you know, for good or bad or whatever and different, was Takashi Six Nine, blood rapper, and I put blood in quotes. You know, obviously, uh, rapper from New York. You know, in hindsight, now you know what three years later because he was you know popping, and I put popping in quotes once again in you know 2018. Then the whole snitching thing happened, and now here we are in 2021. He's walking around with bodyguards and still going to clubs and throwing music and disrespecting some of our legends and things like that. In hindsight. Being twenty twenty, what's your whole opinion on Takashi Six Nine? Man, that's a funny guy. <laughs> He's a funny guy. He's very weird. That's weird, man. Man, I don't know what. Say, man, I don't know, man. He better. He better. <laughs> he better keep the body going son, 24 seven because if they ever catch him slipping, they gonna JFK him quick. Yeah. You hear me? How long does he have? Like how? I'm surprised he's lasted this long. I'm just keeping it super real. I'm surprised he's lasted. Nah, this for long. real, man. That that ain't what's up, man. That's the wrong thing to do to gain some attention, man. You know what I'm saying I understand the four day laws. I would say, you know, what I'm saying, do what you gotta do to gain attention. You know, what I'm saying to get people to look at you, but. That's a little bit too much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> it, you know what I'm saying? A little bit too much, man, because that thing gets you hurt, man, especially doing something like that. Yes, it's... it's. Then I can't... I don't think he can come to the D, man. I don't know if they come to the... I only think the blood's in the D town like the D. Nah. I mean, as, as far as the snitch, like... he's pretty much dead everywhere, right? As far as the snitch. Yeah, yeah he, can't, he can't move down here. No yeah. shows, none of that. <laughs> yeah, well, my thing is, Not let's, a let's fast forward five years when that money runs out and he doesn't have security anymore. I mean, he's a, he's he's a dead man. He, there's no way he's gonna be alive. I don't I don't see it happening. Man, I, I like to say good luck to him. Oh, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, no, come on. Yeah. It's just you and me. School is in session, baby, but I don't play. I know you wanted to go uh-huh. to recess, but I take, take that, that away. What? Understand I'm the what? man, even if you had a plan. If you make 200000 I'm keeping 100 grand. Wait a minute. Uh, because I'm pimping you, bitch. This is America, so why not get rich? When you're searching for your music, you're playing my station. I'm two steps beyond, maybe that's the fascination. Come on. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling 
absolute, absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. Ooh, ooh. I'm a West Coast rapper from the city of the hub. Everywhere I go, I get that California love. Like I'm the plug, they trying to tap into my energy. When I hit the spot, you know I'm coming with that synergy, replenishing like Gatorade. Yeah. Got they levels up, and now we two steps beyond these flames, kicking up dust. Never running from the smoke. Hold up. We really want the smoke only from Clone God, though. Let's go. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. You talking me and you. When we come together, we be feeling absolute. We put one in the air and be feeling so cool. I'm a Gemini, bitch. So you know what that means. It means that sometime one plus one equals three. I'm a wandering star with two grams up in my cigar and a heart with two scars. So pardon if I snap, girl. I'm sorry, bitch. Pass me the lighter. I'm about to play Street Fighter. Hot Dugan, that pussy. Like my name, Kenny Ryu. She says she never kissed a girl. Well, bitch, tonight you experiment. Put this tablet on your tongue and just enjoy the experience. One plus one equals two. I'm talking you and me. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a Are you familiar with this whole... Um, genre of of drill where they actually diss the dead ops where they're saying you know I'm smoking on such and such pack, which means I'm I'm smoking the enemy you know uh I'm I'm smoking weed I'm smoking the enemy. Are you familiar with that whole drill no. situation? Yeah, yeah, I heard, yeah, I heard. Okay, I heard. is that shit, is it is it popping down there in in Dallas? Because I'm uh, I've heard other people from other cities say that it's it's you know been um cracking in their city as well. I mean, nah, not really, not down here in the D. Not really, you know what I'm saying? We don't try to, you know what I'm saying, nah. Okay. I ain't, I ain't never, I ain't never heard that in the D. Okay, that's good. Who are some of the the artists in Dallas right now that are popping? Shit, right now, uh, man, they got, uh, they got Yellow Beezy right now. Yellow Beezy on top, you know what I'm saying? Mo3 was up there too, man. RP Mo3, you know what I'm saying? For real, Mo3 was up there. He was definitely on top, you know what I'm saying? Right now, we got Yellow Beezy, you know what I'm saying? Then we got uh, uh, Lil Runny, you know what I'm saying? Lil Runny motherfucking L. That's the name, yo. And then we got uh, motherfucking Trap Boy Freddy. He coming up, you know what I'm saying, right behind him. Then we got uh, Lil Ross, you know what I'm saying? Then we got uh, Street, you know what I'm saying? 45 South Red, STLC boys, you know what I'm saying? That's what y'all just heard, that gangster, you know what I'm saying? And that boy Lil Ross, man, Sim Shy, y'all go check that out, man. That Sim Shy, y'all go check out that, that, that Street too, man. The boys doing that. Yeah, a lot of doubt, uh, a lot of uh, talent is coming out of Dallas. The hip hop scene is just, it's, it's blowing up. Oh there. yeah, oh yeah, they open it up, man. They yeah. didn't, they they made it mainstream, man. So everybody out here trying to get it right now, yeah. you know. What I'm saying? It used to be all about Houston and and nah, man. Dallas is of late, homie. They've definitely been getting it cracking. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had we got to we had to bounce back from that from that dance era, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was um, oh, what's homeboy? Oh man, never mind. There was a rapper from uh, early 2000s that I was trying to remember. Um. That was from Dallas. Uh, ah, God damn it. All right, fuck it. That's Early, which one? Right. one? We got, we had it Lil was, Will. It was, oh, Lil Will, Will not. Leg Boy. It, it was, uh, he had the hit on the radio um, in like 2000. DeRoe. Dero, exactly, DeRoe, exactly. Yeah, uh, DeRoe still here. Yeah, yeah, DeRoe. Yeah, I saw, no, I saw an interview <laughs> with him, uh, like, yeah, a couple months ago. Yeah, yeah, he yeah was, the road still hit. Yeah, that's dope. He was one of the first ones to. Yeah, the road, yeah, the road way up there. He he above us right now, man. That's why I ain't thinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he moved on, man. He he even got up there. Well, shit, when it comes to Dallas, well, shout out to the road, man. He put it down. He put he put it down for the D. For real. When it comes to Dallas hip hop, because I'm a hip hop nerd. When it comes to Dallas hip hop, who are who are some of the earlier, you know, influences of Dallas hip hop that you know, people might not have heard about, but they just had just a hit in, locally. Man, they had uh, Gator Man, you know what I'm saying? And they had that, uh, who else was that? Gator Man, Lil Runny. Lil Runny was hit. Lil Runny had a couple hits. <laughs> Cottonmouth. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, tough Tom DSR, shouts out to them boys. DSR, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Big Tuck, Tough Tom, uh, uh, which one? Lil Runny, Lil Runny. Yeah, DSR, the whole DSR clan. Then uh, the ball players, Gator Man, you know what I'm saying? That boy was doing his thing too. Yeah, man. Well, shit, what's, um, what's next for you? And promote anybody that you want to right now that we should check out. And I want to throw some links in the description as well. The floor is yours, homie. All right, man. Next thing for me, man, y'all look out for my album, man, coming soon, man. It's going to be called Tag Life. Y'all look for that, man. Tag Life, you know what I'm saying? If y'all got it on, uh, <clears throat> y'all got me on Instagram, hit me up at Tag Show, you know what I'm saying? Or Tag NT, Tag King, that's us, you know what I'm saying? I'll let there, man. Go check out them 45 South, 45 South Record Boys, you know what I'm saying? Go check out Lil Ross. Lil Ross, that's L I L, Fortune, you know what I'm saying? Lil Ross, Fortune, man. Check him out. It's going down. Y'all look out for my album, though, man. It's coming up under that tag. You know what I'm saying? A business in Wisconsin implanting microchips in its employees in the skin of their hands. So, what are they tracking and where you say yes? Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room but life is a mama seat. She glad to meet ya. She back coming soon. <laughs> Better get the broom, my nigga. You clean up your house. She got a little more time to back out, cause she ain't your spouse. But do I love her? I need her. Maybe respect how I treat her. But when I see my baby, I'ma wanna go and feed her. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. I was born in a space and time where people were stupid. Everybody looking for love, fucking with Cupid. Who did whatever they wanted to do with black fist up? Stand to opposition, keeping Hennessy in the cup. Drink, nigga, tell me what you think about God. The Bible is written by man, so people. People think of a side Form your own opinion before you listen to white men The system has got you on American bandstand And when you get home, you gotta look in the mirror Take off all the makeup and the wig is more clear I fear a day when I can't smoke my weed I drink my drink, my nigga, you know what I need But success is a motherfucker, shoes to feel I got a baby at home, I need them big time deals This shit just got real, it's going down tonight Somebody gon' get jack, hope they don't put up a fight. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Blow that smoke right out your lungs. You go to church every Friday. Now you're speaking in tongues.